Number seven, Philips CDI. Started off with Nintendo and Sony. Sony leaves, Nintendo comes back in, they go with Philips. Nintendo says the CD-based add-on sucks terribly, let's cut our losses. Philips takes what they have here and gives us the CDI. They give us a steaming pile of dog shit. This thing is crazy. This thing, when it launched, it costs more than a Sega Saturn it launched, more than the Neo Geo, more than a 3DO, more than any PS3 SKU that we have seen currently to date. Oh. DB, let's play a game. I like right? games. I know you like games. Money involved? Somewhat. Okay. Sweet. Let's go. Okay, now you just start guessing numbers, and I'll tell you whether you need to go higher or lower, or if you're right on the money. Okay? Gotcha. Start. Let's go. $400. Higher. $500. Higher. $600. Higher. $700. Higher. $1 million! God damn it, no! Go lower! $999,999. No, that is not even a reasonable number. Lower. Much, much lower. Alright, big money, big money, big money. Don't wave me, don't wave me, don't wave me. Stop! What the fuck is your problem? That is wrong game. I'll buy that. It's a thousand dollars, you piece of shit. It's a thousand dollars. I'll win a thousand dollars? You don't win shit. We're just. But I didn't hit the whammy. <sighs> okay, not. Nah. Anyway, okay. Moving on. Moving on. Yes, this thing costs a thousand dollars. You know, Gooch, back in the day, I could have bought myself a Sega Genesis, a Super Nintendo, accessories for both systems, a games with both systems, and still be under a thousand dollars. Who in the right mind would think this would be an acceptable price? Well, I guess they must have thought someone, you know, was really interested in going to pay for this thing. They took the time and energy out to create an infomercial for the product. That's true, Gooch. In the lifespan of the CDI, the Philips Corporation was able to sell over 500,000 units. Yeah, with most likely the vast majority going to schools for educational purposes and businesses such as, you know, pharmaceutical companies that use them for presentations. Seriously, they sold, what, 500,000 paperweights? Alright, so we've established that the Philips CDI is a piece of shit. We've talked a lot about it, but not mentioned too many of the gaming specific features. Let's talk about that now. Now, when we're talking about a home video game console, you need one particular thing to interact with it. Do you know what that is, DB? Thumbs! You do use your thumbs to interact with it, but let's think more along the lines of what you use your thumbs for. Hitchhiking! Yeah, if you want to get gang raped and left in a ditch to die. No, let's think more gaming specific. Oh, the whole my DS stylus. Okay, let's think more related to a home video game console. I play my DSi at home. Son of a bitch, you know what I mean. Say controller. I could, but it's it's more fun to do it this way. I hate you. That's right, Gooch. The Philips Corporation just couldn't get the right touch on the controllers, so it just kept going back to the drawing board, back to the drawing board, back to the drawing board. That's why we saw controllers like the Remote Control Controller. Don't know what in the world they were thinking with that one. We saw the controller that had the two-inch nipple on the D-pad. I didn't know if I was supposed to play with it or suck on it. Uh, well, I know it sucks to play with it. I well, they may have had so many problems because they hoard this thing out to so many other manufacturers who also produced CDI players. That's right, Gooch. Instead of having the Philips CDI, we actually had the Philips Magnavox Gold Star LG DVS Memorex Grundig Sony Kyocera MBS High Screen and Bang & Olufsen CDI. Yeah, like you could really fit that on a fucking box. Well, they also could have just taken the first letter of each company and had the MAJUSCULA CDI. That sounds like your mouth took a shit. You take a shit when you play the Philips CDI. Speaking of shit, man, seriously, let's talk about some of the games, and mainly four games in particular. Four games. Do you know which ones I'm referring to, DB? I bet it has something to do with Nintendo. Absolutely. Now, 
where the Philips and Nintendo, they had the deal together to work on a CD-based add-on. That fell through. It was still in the contract with Philips that Philips could make video games using Nintendo characters, mainly Mario and the characters from the Zelda series. Now, Gooch, this could have gone two ways. This could have been something extraordinary, something we had never seen before. Mario and Zelda on a CD console. We're talking music, animation, graphics. It could have been mind-blowing. But instead, we got... The complete opposite of that. Horrible, horrible, utter shit. Some of the most notoriously bad games the world has ever seen. Now, we're not going to get into any great detail with these games because it's been done to death. A million videos exist out there showing you how bad these games are. They have some of the worst animation and FMV that I've ever seen in a video game, ever. Seriously, I think me and DB could do a better job, you know, doing the audio dub. Hold on a second there, Gooch. That's a damn good idea. I wonder how that would turn out. Seriously, Mario, why do you go out with the Princess Toadstool? She doesn't give you the whole Bangladesh Margaret, eh? Yeah, but she's gonna give me one day, and she got the nice boobies. So does the Princess Daisy. Yeah, but, hey, look. What the fuck is the Club of Cooper Resort? Dear Mario, this is Bowser. I have kidnapped the Princess again, and tonight I am going to bang the shit out of her! I've waited so patiently for her. For all nice boobies. Oh, oh yeah, I've got these hotels and shit. Come save her if you want to. Koopa, Koopa out. God damn, that bitch got captured again! It sucks to be you, Mario! Oh well, no, not this time! This time I'm gonna give me some! It's gonna go right in the ass! Really hard. <laughs> Oh, drink all my goddamn bill! Now I've got to go to the goddamn bill store, goddammit! Zelda, I swear to God, I will bitch smack you if you give me any more lip! Now, what's the quickest way in the bill store? Do I look like a fucking Tom Tom? Get in your boat and go across the fucking water, douchebag! Very well then! Lick, you're in charge! Oh boy! I'm so hungry, I could eat a large cock. You're about to enter a fully enclosed, climate-controlled marvel of CDI mini-golf technology, and I'll be your guide. Prepare to experience 18 of the world's toughest holes, but in the comfort of your own living room. How about that, huh? <laughs> so, let's go play! Tickets, please. Thanks for reminding me, you oversized can opener. Sorry about the delay. Now, here we go. One, two, three, four! 